Guys, it's raining out. But it's sunny. It's kind of like a sun shower. It's raining on and off. I can't get any stuff done in the car. So, might as well do some video game stuff. Welcome to this week's vlog video. Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Let's find out. Russell's Vlogging Videos is brought to you by Retro Games Plus, Power Up Customs, and all my supporters on Patreon. Alright guys, it's been uh, non-stop here with trade-ins coming in. Someone came in with a big box of stuff they were waiting for me to open, traded in a whole bunch of games, then after that someone traded in some stuff, so I got a lot to show you. Got a nice stack of N64 games. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Wave Race 64. Flying Dragon. Diddy Kong Racing. Star Wars Pod Racer. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes 2. WWF Warzone. Loose copy of Pokemon Snap. And Star Fox 64. Some quick NES games. Renegade. If you guys don't follow the channel, Best Spuds, my buddies over there, played this game as a challenge. I asked them to get it as far as they could in it, and I think they only made it, made it to level two. I can't get far. It's kind of like Double Dragon, but worse controls and doesn't play as good. Check out a quick clip here. Super Spud Challenge. Hey, Best Spuds, what's going on? Russ Lyman here from the YouTube channel, Russ Lyman. And I dare you guys to play Renegade on the NES. I can't get very far in this game, so I like to see past the first level. Let's see you do it. Welcome to Super Spud Challenge. Starring Russ Lyman. Wait, no, he's just the one who wanted us to play it. Yeah, Russ Lyman from the YouTube channel, Russ Lyman, Russ Lyman. sent us Renegade to play. Well, Wait, told us to play. To us? No, he told us to play Renegade. What's that, Tan? Russ Lyman. Russ Lyman. All right, let's play. <laughs> from the Wait, YouTube channel, Russ Lyman. Yeah, two player game. That means I have to use the NES Max. Yep, controller. to the NES Max. Oh, but we play separately. I have oh. no idea anything about this game. Oh! Oh, you died. I was gonna say, did I die already? <laughs> I like the beer side what of the What the hell? Game. Kyle, you have to hit him. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, hit him. In my Goku Aladdin costume? Up and at them. Thanks. Base is loaded. And Super Spike V-Ball. This game's really fun. It has an awesome mechanic where you can like, in Super Dodgeball, hit the volleyball extremely hard and like hurt your opponents. Really fun, definitely check it out. With that trade in brings up a question, guys. I wanted to ask you, you guys ever write your name on games? Julian M, right here. I got your copy of Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. And then someone traded in Bomberman 64 with their name on the top label here. That seems really common. We get a lot of games when they write their name up here. Wouldn't you write the name of the game up here instead? I don't know. But did you guys do that back when you were growing up? Write your names on your games, I guess, just in case if you lent it to a friend and you couldn't remember and you were over their house, you're like, hey, that's my game. I put my name on it. Also got in a Game Boy Game Shark system so you can cheat on your Pokemon games, I guess, or use it for other cheats and stuff. I never got into these, but... They seem to be a hot item. Lunar Dragon Song in the DS. Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. Never got to play this one or Spirit's Tracks, but guess they're fun. Kind of looks like some Wind Waker inspired levels in here as well. I see you're on the ocean. And Castlevania, Dawn of Sorrow. I heard these were great. Play very similar to Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation. Spinners! <laughs> It'll just go on forever. Yeah. So Ryan came down. He watched my vlog video that I just yep. posted, and he's picking up Tailspin. He said he played it at your grandma's growing yeah, up? Yeah, I used grandma, to play so it grandma, grandma bought it? Actually, I bought it when I was a kid with my allowance, and when I would go over there, it had to stay at her house which I felt was kind of messed up because I lived miles and miles away. I was in Georgia, man. This was in North Carolina. I bought this, so that kind of messed me up. So it's back in the collection. Back in the collection. <laughs> All 
right, guys, so Ed came down, and he's been eyeing this steel battalion controller forever. It doesn't have foot pedals. I can work around that. So we came to a deal because it's been here for such a long time. We've been dropping the price slowly <laughs> and he really wants to take it home because his wife definitely wants to have it in the house. <laughs> I believe the word she said that is if you come home with that controller, you can just walk right out the back door and keep going with it. I think is exactly <laughs> what she said to me. So um, coming home tonight is going to be kind of interesting. but. And it's raining out, so she kicks you out, you're in the rain. I can deal with it. <laughs> I'll deal with it. I've been eyeballing this controller for, what, eight months now? So you're going to try to play some regular games with it? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go Soul Calibur 2 with it. <laughs> I want to see what I can do with Soul Calibur 2. Yeah, I don't know if it would work for any other game. I mean, imagine it's a controller. It has I'll, enough buttons, so maybe. I want to try it. I want to try it. I'm going to be getting the foot pedals eventually. And, you know, the game itself is really inexpensive. This is the this the is boat. the expensive. And if you boat. get it online, you do have to pay. It's like $25 for shipping. Yeah, exactly. It's it's it's, it's atrocious. <laughs> you know, but then you look at it. I mean, that's a big controller. Oh, yes. So a I've, few people I see. One, one of my other buddies, Mike, has one, and he set it up on a desk and actually, actually uh, like, screwed the the foot pedals in the ground or mm -hmm. made some box so it doesn't move so you're really so you're, you're going at it you know it's going to move a lot so he he anchored it down some way i think uh, you just put anti-slip stuff on there and you'd be good be to good. go yeah yep depends how oh how wow you get into it i just realized this so there's where the foot pedals could attach look on the underside there it actually has the allen wrench to, dis to dismantle it oh okay so that way you can actually break it down a little bit make it a little bit more easy to use so Thank you very much. I've been eyeballing this for eight months. <laughs> eight months. It's finally coming home with me. Great pickup. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, guys, it's, uh, it's another rainy day. It's been raining so much. Can't get any work done in the car because uh, it's raining. I was doing some body work, and my buddy Tom Ryan at Tom Ryan Studios has been working on my design for the side of the car. I could give you guys a little preview right here of uh, Mario and Luigi that's going to be on the car. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be epic. But hopefully some trade-ins come through, and I can show you guys that. So we did get in these cool Street Fighter plushes. Uh, they're really big. They're 25 bucks a piece. Here's Chung Lee, Ken, Dalzim, Zangief, Ryu, and Guile. I also still got two of these Street Fighter pillows. They're 20 bucks. They got pretty much it's the same plushes in the art style of that on here. Well guys, I did see someone traded in some lightsabers. Looks like we got uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, and then that must be uh, Luke's lights lightsaber. They look pretty awesome. 150 bucks a piece, so they gotta be pretty high quality. Let's see if I could get them down and take a look at them. Got a little switch right here, and then you just hit it. And draws back in. I like how the, the light shoots up. Make sound effects when you hit it. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yep guys, this is Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Uh, I can't show it to you guys, it's actually still 
still got the factory tape on there, so it's it's brand new. Factory sealed. So I don't want to open it up. But looks pretty awesome and works the same as Kylo Ren's. The light will just shoot right up there, except they'll be green. All right, guys, someone traded in this Atari Arcade. Uh, basically, all it is is a joystick here, and you would slide a iPad in it and then play games using the joystick instead of the on-screen touch controls. Step one, warm up a bit with flexing and cracking on the knuckles. Jeez. Step two, on your iPad, download Atari Greatest Hits Game Collection from the App Store. Step three, choose one of 100 classic games, then select Duo in the control settings. Step four, show the arcade, joystick, and buttons. Who's the real champion? All right, guys, so slow day so far. Looks like our cord bin here could use some attention. So I gotta get to rapping. Here's a cool fake Famicom controller. Super Pad by Proformance. All right guys, we got a package in. I hope they use enough tape on this box. Literally every square inch taped. Guess they didn't want us getting into it. This is it guys, we got our spinners. Assortment of colors. All right guys, so that was our package of fidget spinners that we're gonna be selling here at the store. We got an assortment of colors. A uh, black one came in. This kind of teal blue. Got a lime green. Bright yellow and purple. And a couple of these blue ones with the uh, red bearings on it. Says you can play with these at work, class, and home. So be sure to bring these to your job and school and don't pay attention, but use your spinner. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's vlog video. Got some cool stuff that came through the store and a few of my friends made guest appearances. My buddy Ryan and Ed both have YouTube channels and I'll leave their links down below in the description and I'll also put them on screen. Just check them out, we're trying to support the community here. Go sub to them, check out one of the videos and tell them Russ Lyman sent you. And this week's comment shout out goes to Retro Game Players, and he said, Great channel, I'm a new sub. Love seeing the game store stuff and trades. Well, thanks for coming over and finding my channel. Hopefully you check out some of my older videos. I had a cool series running called Russ's Retro Reads and Rewind Friday. Those will definitely be coming back, guys. I know I've been missing them. They're supposed to come out every Friday and Sunday. I'm kind of revamping the format on Rewind Friday, and I just honestly haven't had time to do a Russ's Retro Reads. Um, I really love that show, uh, and I kind of want to make 
Rewind Friday a little bit more, I guess, me, rather than it just being a review show or something like that. So I'm tweaking it. Leave any suggestions you have down below. If you checked out any of those series, let me know if you liked them or go check out the videos and leave a comment on there. Russ, what you playing? Let's find out. Well guys, this week I'm playing Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. I was super excited because it didn't cost any money. I already had Shovel Knight physically on the 3DS and it was just a update if you had the cartridge to get Spectre of Torment. So I've been playing that, I already defeated about three of the knights and I'm probably going to play it more tonight and complete it. It's really fun, I'm liking the backstory of it. Those guys at Yacht Club uh, really overdid it. And also, I'm still playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. I've been uh, slacking because I've only been playing a little bit and I'm stuck at one part and I had to go get the stealth armor so this way I can sneak around and sneak up behind some guys. This way I could get, I'm in some part where you're in like a, a uh, thieves hideout and you have to sneak around and if they see you, all the thieves come out and attack you and, and you can't beat them on your own, you just die. So I needed to go get the stealth gear and hopefully I complete that and then start knocking out some more shrines. So guys, the question of the day is, I'm actually getting kind of hungry and I want to know what you guys eat while you're gaming. Do you guys like to eat chips, chicken nuggets, ramen noodles? Leave it in the comments down below. As always guys, I encourage you to follow me on my social media networks. Give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, like my Facebook page, and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already to this channel. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can do so for a little as a dollar a month. Big shout out goes to David Apuzo and Maynard for doing so on my Patreon page. As always guys, I'm Russ Lyman. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.